Summertime puts me in the mood for light tones and beachy bleached out color palettes. In spirit of adding that summery feel to my home, I thought I'd give this sad looking little table a new lease on life. An outdated coffee table made from good solid wood can be made to look like a million bucks with a bit of sanding and a whitewash paint technique. I've picked up this solid wooden table for next to nothing and for the DIY I have in mind, this thing will look brand new again. The materials needed for this project include white acrylic paint, a stiff bristle paintbrush, cotton cloth, a soft bristle paintbrush, satin acrylic urethane and a 100 grit sanding block. The first thing we'll need to do is sand down our wooden table to make sure it gets down to its original state. I'm using the 80 grit sandpaper and all we need to do is roughen up the wood to get rid of the old and apply the new paint to allow it to seep in. Instead of working up a sweat trying to sand the table the old-fashioned way, Zoe worked smarter and not harder by using a Bosch orbital sander from Builders to speed up the process. The table now has an even finish and is ready for the next step. Will you look at that? Smooth as a baby's bottom. Now that we've sanded down our wooden table, all we need to do is add those finishing touches. To prepare the table for paint, the surface must be completely clean and free of dust particles. Using a clean cloth, wipe the table down with alcohol-based spirits. For the whitewash technique, the paint is diluted by mixing two parts water to one part paint, which makes it thinner for an easier application and a perfect even finish. Working in small sections, I'm going to use a stiff bristle brush to apply the paint to the wood and immediately use this damp cloth to wipe off any excess paint. It may seem counterproductive, but you still need to paint in smooth strokes before wiping away quickly. This ensures the paint is even and eliminates stroke marks. So if you're going to have your table on its side, don't start here at the top. Start at the bottom to avoid any dripping. You want the paint to settle into the deep grooves of the wood grain and wipe away any excess paint that settles on the surface. Once the table is painted, give it a light sand with 100 gift. So for the finishing touches, I've decided to protect my surface and add some depth by painting two coats of glossy varnish. The satin finish formula has a softer, more natural look that closely resembles a wax finish. Apply two coats of the urethane to protect the wood and remember to allow it to dry properly between coats. All that's left to do is dress the table with your favorite books and accessories. I'm so excited how this project has turned out. It's brought this table back to life. Now, if you want to do that as well, head on down to your nearest builders to get everything that you need. And you can find the steps on our Expresso Facebook page or on our website, expressoshow.com. Updating your furniture needn't cost an arm and a leg. With a little sanding and some paint, you can upstyle your wood furniture to get that relaxed beach house look in your home.